Hi Aries, welcome to this reading. I hope that you're doing well today. We have sensitivity. That's very interesting because as I was shuffling up that deck, I was hearing almost like a melody coming through, um, but it wasn't anything I could hold on to. So I don't know that it's one specific song I'm being given, maybe more the message that the um, Divine Feminine Collective right now is feeling very sensitive to the energies around them, getting maybe lots of messages through songs, song lyrics, um, just or maybe just more broadly receiving signs and um, getting strong intuitive hits and then confirmations around that through things they're seeing perhaps um whether it's in their waking life through dreams you know it could be those uh random signs we see when we're out and about on billboards license plates whatever it is okay you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now honor yourself and your feelings okay cool so we'll put that there um okay so of course, as well, that could be quite a literal confirmation, perhaps, for some Divine Feminines watching, if there is a connection to music or thoughts around picking up an instrument or picking an instrument up again or singing or something like that. Um, okay. So let's see. Oh. Sorry about that. I had a phone call that I've been waiting for, so I had to answer. But, you know, that's interesting in and of itself. We were just talking about receiving um, energies, messages, signs. So perhaps that's a sign for you if you're waiting for a phone call and you're a divine feminine watching this. But anyway, OK, take me into, please, the energy of the divine feminine collective. Wow. OK, nine of swords. Yeah, with this card coming out about sensitivity that I've sort of almost squashed in half now, brilliant. <laughs> I feel that maybe um, the Divine Feminines are feeling very sensitive, very receptive, and it's overwhelming. It's kind of perhaps getting to be too much. So there could be um, some guidance here around grounding, cleansing energy, um, you know, protection around the energetic bodies, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, okay. What else, please? A hanged man, we've got Pisces energy there. I think we just had one that flipped. Um, I don't know what the card is or if it even flipped, but in my head I'm seeing the Sun card, which is making me think of um, Leo, of course, but also some, some kind of truth coming to light that's not going to be as bad as the Divine Feminine might be feeling or thinking. No, I don't think it did flip, okay. And the Nine of Swords, you know, we don't just get to that place overnight. It's usually an extended period of time of worry, of stress. See, look at this. And did you see how these came out? The Tower hidden behind the Ten of Cups. I feel like um, the Divine Feminine right now might be fearing some kind of disaster almost. Or, um, I don't know, anticipating some kind of worst case scenario or some kind of negative surprise. That, you know, the message here today from Spirit is this isn't going to happen. Um, so I don't know if it's fear of, okay, I know my Divine Masculine is going to announce that they're getting married, or I'm going to see something about their family, or hear something, or they've gone away with their family, so this means that, or something is going to happen within my family, but it, it's actually not. But for some reason, the Feminine is, is really focused on this, very worried about it. Um, we've got Scorpio energy here with the Tower. I would kind of want to say there could be a feeling of this is too good to be true, but what's too good? Because it doesn't seem that there's that good of an energy around. Um, I don't know. Let's keep going. Six of Cups. There's a lot going on here today. I'm also seeing potential messages with the Six of Cups coming out around some Divine Feminines doing almost like um, childhood healing what's it called um in a child healing um like maybe even some past life regression therapy um realizing and maybe addressing some wounds around disappointments that they experienced in the past whether the past is, is sort of like three years ago two years ago or back in childhood and understanding how the beliefs they picked up around that situation or those situations are still impacting them today as in for example imagining disaster scenarios that aren't, aren't going to happen um so maybe at some point say the divine feminine experience some kind of rupture within a family unit 
um, at some point during their life while they were growing up and, and feeling like, well, that's always going to happen in any relationship that I build now or something like that, but almost like some subconscious belief that's being dug up. So yeah, I don't know if they're a divine feminine who are really looking within um, and seeing maybe how some of their beliefs, um, some fears, some wounds have been impacting their connection, not just with their divine masculine and within this twin flame connection, but really impacting the choices they make in life in a broader perspective. Okay, so Knight of Wands. Two of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's a feeling of um, something being temporary, something the Divine Feminine wants to last being only temporary. So I don't know if there are Divine Feminines here who are with their Divine Masculine and they're like, okay, I finally got the thing I really wanted, but now I'm terrified it's going to end. Or they're feeling like, well, even if I did get this happy relationship and, and find this balance and harmony, it would be fleeting and my divine masculine would jump ship or something like that um it feels like these are either thoughts that the feminine is thinking very very privately and keeping to themselves the thoughts that plague them when they're feeling their most drained and vulnerable and low you know um when those fears start to speak more loudly than perhaps their rational mind and then their feelings and their intuition or these are lingering in the background and haven't yet been crystallized into that clear thought of oh i'm being triggered in some way or this is why i feel this or this is what that that nauseous feeling in my stomach was about it's this fear um now of course if you're watching this and you're resonating as a divine feminine and you're like hmm well, I'm not thinking that I have these fears, but maybe I do. I would, de would definitely say, please do not dig, you know, really deep and convince yourself that you have some underlying fear or trauma that you don't actually have. It might just be that this is not your reading. So if you're not able to place these messages, I would take it as, okay, this collective message just isn't for me today. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to make anyone leave the reading feeling like they've got, you know, like, I don't know, they need to go and have therapy or something. So if, if it doesn't resonate, don't take it. Um, okay, so let me have a look at this Nine of Swords. Eight of Coins reversed, Page of Wands. Because today, right now, all this fire energy, it doesn't feel exciting, it feels like a threat. I don't know if it's... It's almost like looking at this fire energy and saying it's temporary, it's too spontaneous, it's not tangible, I can't depend on it, it's the thing that's going to create distractions. This feels quite specific. Three of coins reversed. Yeah, it's like we've not, even the king of coins is reversed, we've not got the grounding, we've not got the earth energy, we've not got the stability. So maybe it's a fear of I'm on one page, my masculine's on another, we're not pulling together here, I want something long lasting, my masculine wants you know, those sparks of passion in the moment to come in and out. Um, <clears throat> the tower reversed with the two of ones. I just saw, I think it was death, more Scorpio energy there. Yeah, a fear of something ending. Look at this, see, even the Ace of Cups, ordinarily an amazing card, so much potential, but it's paired with the devil, Capricorn. This is fascinating. I, you know, let me know if this makes sense to you, please. If you, you know, if you want to share, um, because it feels like the divine feminine is, has been recently offered something with their divine masculine, the thing they they are saying they want, but now it's kind of it's terrifying that it's here, because it's like, well, what if it goes? Or they feel it again. Going back to the sensitivity card, we got you know the oracle message at the start. It's like they feel something's coming in, and it's good, but that is triggering an immense amount of fear and lack of trust of this Ace of Cups. Um, wow. Okay. But you know, it's, if this is resonating with you and it's your message in one way or another, it's really important to remember that the Nine of Swords is when our fears have got the better of us and spirit is saying the tower is reversed there isn't going to be this worst case scenario that you think and feel will happen see look six of swords getting up moving on leaving okay i wonder if the feminine collective i'm talking to today does have maybe some kind of fear of abandonment um 
And this can sometimes even manifest as seeming like a fear or a rejection of commitment, because, you know, if we if we worry that we will get into a commitment and then be abandoned by someone, why not just circumvent all of that and never even commit to someone so they can't abandon us, you know? Um, so I don't know then if the feminine feels like they're being challenged, they're the one who's being challenged to open up and engage and make it a team effort here, and that's terrifying because if they do that, what if they do that and then the masculine leaves? This is really interesting. And it's it's so interesting because it feels like there is a reason that this triggering is coming up now. So as I said, I feel like the feminine has been offered something here or feels or senses on the horizon that there is an, a big offer, an opportunity coming in, something that would make them very emotionally happy. But there's a fear like, um, sorry, there's a fear that this, it won't stick around. Um, it's like, what's the catch here? Because the Ace of Cups with the Devil, that's a catch. That's almost like, if someone's trying to get you addicted to something, it's like, you can have the first thing free. Whatever it is, it can even be TV, you know, why don't you sign up to this um, streaming service and have the first however many months on us, so you get hooked on it, you know? And then you're, you know, you're willing to pay um, for the rest of the time. So yes, you might enjoy it initially, but then you're kind of tied in and, and you know, that's now where your money is going or something. But yeah, it's like, what's the catch here? Hmm. I, have, I just feel like this is coming from the mind. It's coming from the ego, but for good reason. There is something here that happened before in the past with the Six of Cups. And it's like the feminine's being triggered into feeling like it's going to happen again, but it's not. But the fact that this trigger has come up, it's, you know, obviously it's an opportunity to reflect, to heal, to transmute, to release got the queen of pentacles reversed so there could have been separation divorce parental figures separating um maybe the divine feminine themselves separating from someone in the past it's it see it feels look there it is again wanting to come out so i'll take this out it feels like what's that that thing where we overestimate the potential for disaster and completely underestimate our ability to deal with it so maybe there was something in the divine feminine's past that happened and they felt that it was completely outside of their power to to influence it to do anything and maybe it was maybe they were very young or just things inexperienced in this situation at the time um but that's very different now the divine feminine is not a child anymore or isn't very young or has more experience um it's hard to talk specifically about what this is because it's very individual it's very personal and it's not something concrete it's it's thoughts it's fears yes see look at this do you see what i mean we've got the emperor aries the divine masculine though with the emperor four of cups reverse so Again, I'm seeing very, very clearly the Divine Feminine has received an offer from the Divine Masculine, the one that they want, and they're freaking out, or they feel it coming in, Three of Wands. They've been manifesting it, they've been calling it to them, they're extra sensitive to energies right now, they know it's coming, and that's triggering fear. Wow, so we can also um, look at this as confirmation that if you've been feeling something is going to happen soon, Spirit is showing that it will. Um, and giving you a heads up that it might, it, don't be surprised if feelings and thoughts that are less than exuberant and positive are triggered here. You know, we might assume, oh, I'm getting the thing that I really wanted, I'm just going to be excited and happy and so in love with this thing or this person or this offer, but when it comes we are afraid or nervous or overwhelmed, you know, so, so just know that there might be some surprise feelings here or thoughts but i think they're coming from wanting this so much that before it's even been grabbed with both hands there's a fear of like right what if it goes away am i being tricked i've waited so long for this or this seems too good to be true okay interestingly you know in the back of this card we've got the two swans together which can be a sign of twin flames so i do feel everything is much more safe and calm and okay than it seems to the divine feminine right now but yeah there definitely might be a need to journal reflect um i just heard correspond correspond with the subconscious um see what's going on down there 
Um, you know, let it speak. Don't try to repress it. That's just that's just going to make it worse. Um, but but continue to remind yourself if you're a divine feminine watching. You know that your fears are sort of shouting very loudly. That it's not as bad as it seems. It's not even bad at all, to be honest. Um, yeah, no, creative writing. Yes, maybe um, automatic writing, free writing, journaling, or anything creative. Okay, so let's move into the Divine Masculine and see what's going on at this time with the Divine Masculine within this Twin Flame connection. Claire Audience. Now that's very interesting because I heard the melody for the Feminine, so we're really focusing on hearing today. Okay, notice the love and guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Okay, let's see where we go with that. Okay, so can you take us into the energy, please, for the Divine Masculine and Collective Spirit? <clears throat> okay, Five of Wands. <clears throat> the Moon, Pisces. We have the Seven of Coins reversed and we have the Queen of Cups. Ooh, Pisces again with the High Priestess reversed. Move these about a bit. We have the lovers in reverse, Gemini, twin flame energy there. Strength, Leo. Oh wow. Ace of Swords. Page of Cups reversed. Okay. This could be the offer, the message, the communication that, that the Divine Feminine is picking up on and knowing is coming in. And it has been a long time with the Seven of Coins reversed. Wow. Okay, it looks to me like the Divine Masculine Collective I'm tapping into today has realised that they have some unsavoury influences around them, some people they're not interested in giving their time, attention to, Five of Wands. For me, the Five of Wands never really speaks of just a third party, if there even is one. It's like, it's friends, it's colleagues, it's family, it's it's more than one person. It's like um, the community of people around them that they talk to and speak to most often. With the High Priestess reversed, I feel they've realised these connections, these situations are not in alignment with me. And actually, being involved in these situations is blocking my connection to myself. We have the moon with the lovers in reverse. So this is a divine masculine who has gone within and really reflected and thought about things and probed into, you know, the shadows to see what's going on there. And they've come out making a decision. I feel the decision is it would to align with their highest truth and, you know, to speak clearly, to live in 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 their truth, but with, with, with purpose, with clarity, with intention, not just to go with the flow of these other people here. I feel like there is a, a reaching out. We've got the um, Page of Cups reversed, so I think this hasn't happened yet, but it's, it's brewing. Um, speaking out, reaching out towards the Divine Feminine. I, interestingly though, I feel that there is a feminine influence in this Divine Masculine's life who is encouraging them, speaking very positively to them. Um, this doesn't feel like it's romantic, so it could be a parent, it could be a trusted friend, it could be um, a sibling, you know, that kind of an energy. But there is someone who is in the Divine Masculine's corner and wants the best for them and is encouraging them and saying, yes, it's safe to be who you really are. We have strength, but today this is not looking to me like a card talking about the ego. It's looking like strength, empowerment, courage here, the strength to do something finally that they've been needing and wanting to do for a long long time you know in terms of timing the pentacles talk about years in tarot so it could be seven years um but whether or not it's literally been seven years that the masculine's been been thinking about this or on this journey here i think it's really just showing like a really long time not sort of we're not talking about hours or days here um okay so let's have a bit more of a look then let's look at the lovers reversed Yeah, eight of wands, moving forward, speaking, communicating. Clarify strength, please. Ten 
Ten of Swords, Reverse Temperance, moving towards healing. We also have Sagittarius energy there, moving towards balance, reciprocity. Okay, and we're going to take those. And the Ace of Swords, Three of Wands reversed. We have that Three of Wands for the Divine Feminine. Wow. I think good jumping back to the feminine, one of the things that's making the feminine feel anxious is they're reading the undercurrent. They feel the change coming, but perhaps can't pinpoint what it is because it's almost like what they're feeling isn't syncing up with what's happening in linear time because from on the masculine side, we have the intention to show something, do something, communicate something, but the three of wands is reversed, whereas for the feminine, it's upright. So it's almost like the masculine is... <clears throat> not one step behind. I don't I, I don't really like talking in terms of ahead, behind. You know, everyone's on their own journey, no one's ahead or behind. Um but maybe this thought hasn't crystallized yet as much as it, in the masculine's mind as much as it's coming through energetically to the feminine. Does that even make sense? It's like the masculine okay, the masculine and the feminine energetically both know what's going on. I think the feminine's 3D self though is also starting to pick up on what their higher self knows is going on whereas maybe the masculine is that slight bit more disconnected from that undercurrent and from their higher self so it's like masculine and feminine's higher self and um feminine's 3d self get it kind of three the, the feminine's 3d self is like what's going on I, I feel something whereas the masculine's 3d self is really using their mind to process and think through and is not quite so connected to this energetic undercurrent but they're still moving in the same direction towards this intention to manifest this communication and authenticity look i didn't i've said a bunch of words that i've tried to make i've tried to explain what i'm seeing i hope it makes sense i'm kind of frustrated because i feel like it doesn't but oh i'm just gonna have to trust that if if you're understanding you know what i'm talking about you'll be picking it up energetically and you'll be able to make sense of what i'm trying to put out there let's have a look at this influence that i feel is quite positive we have the queen of cups let's see ace of wands reversed three of swords Seven of Cups, Six of Coins. So this is someone who is saying to the masculine, you haven't been um, taking inspired action. I mean, maybe they don't use those words exactly. You know, you haven't been doing what you need to do, what you want to do. Um, you've been trying to ignore what maybe it's reaching out to the feminine or, you know, whatever action they're inspired to do. And it's just caused pain. Three of Swords and Confusion, Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is someone in the masculine's ear that's that's telling them to, to, you know, three of coins, that's tangible. It's also an energy of reciproc reciprocity to go in, to do something, to give equally. Um, I'm hearing, for some reason, this could be someone the masculine knows online. So this might, and it doesn't have to, you know, feminine energy can be a woman, can be a man. Um, it doesn't even have to be someone the masculine is around in real life. Um... And in some cases, it, it might not be, especially for people around them, they, they wouldn't talk to about this or they feel uncomfortable. They could have maybe joined some kind of um, forum or like um, Facebook group, some kind of twin flame or soulmate um, Facebook group or something like that, you know, but, but there could be someone online who is just encouraging the masculine to go for this, um, to put in the effort, to put in the energy, to to balance things out we have two cards of balance here so maybe this divine masculine is kind of saying in the past they were receiving more than they were giving or maybe they just weren't in a place to even understand what was going on so they were kind of coasting while they were trying to figure it out and now they want to be more proactive um okay yeah eight of coins reversed exactly chariot reversed yeah okay this is the thing the masculine is saying in the past it's not that i wasn't putting in effort because i was being lazy i just didn't understand what was going on while yes with the star i felt something pulling at me i couldn't make sense of it because the chariots reversed cancer and aquarius here the chariots in pursuit of the star but reversed it's like i just didn't know how i didn't even know what it meant i didn't know what i was supposed to do with this feeling but i felt it all along Hmm. Yeah, okay, and now we've got two cards of healing. So this is a masculine that wants authenticity, alignment, healing, reciprocity. And the feminine is picking up on this, and I think it's um it's causing some 
confusion um, because I don't think the masculine is showing just yet in a very, very clear, overt way in their 3D, through their actions, what's going on in their thoughts and in their intentions here. The feminine's reading that energetically, not understanding it. Yeah, it feels like a lot shifting right now in the sort of the undercurrent here, but um, I don't think it's just going to stay energetic or in the undercurrent for long. Um, as I said, I feel some feminines may already have received some kind of offer or communication from their masculines, um, but others it's coming in, some kind of manifestation they've been wanting. Hmm, okay, so I will leave this reading here. This has been... A, incredibly interesting, and B, a bit of a tough one to articulate, I think. So please do let me know if you've, you know, understood what I've been trying to say, if I've, if I've made sense to you. Um, but yeah, I think I'll leave this here. Um, thank you for watching. Hope it helped. Don't know if it did today, but I hope it did. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.